Namaskar. Hello and welcome to P Guru's channel. I'm your host Sri Iyer. What is Yogi model of governance? We saw in the recently concluded riot that is on Friday, the UP government has moved swiftly into action, and as of now, six thousand people have been booked. Thirteen FIRs have been registered. Of the six thousand, two hundred and fifty-five have been held, including people from various districts. And I'm going to give you the details. Eight in Firozabad, fifty in Hathras, twenty-five in Moradabad, twenty-eight in Ambedkar Nagar, sixty-four in Saharanpur, and sixty-eight in Prayagraj. Not only that, we also saw that the properties of the two brothers, Muzammil and Abdul Wakir. I think they are brothers. It doesn't matter. Both of these people, they live in Saranpur. Their properties were bulldozed because these were illegal construction. Now, the Yogi government is very clear. You do public property damage, you pay for it. If you don't have money, you will be also uh, punished in other ways. The other thing I'm hearing, and I need to confirm this, that those of the people who participated in the riots, all government benefits for them are being taken away. Please check this thing. I thought I read this, but I want to be absolutely sure that this is also a very strong measure. And this kind of sends a message to people: if you riot, you are responsible, and you will be made to pay. Now, I was thinking, why not the BJP government use this model of governance and try and see if it can rocket boost its chances of coming to power in states like. Telangana and Andhra Pradesh, which are going to be going to polls in 2021. Let's just take a quick look at all these different states that are going to state elections. In this year, you have Gujarat, and 2023, you have Chhattisgarh, Mizoram, Madhya Pradesh, and Rajasthan. It's sort of like the center of the country. And then in 2023, Telangana and possibly Andhra Pradesh. There have been some hints that perhaps. Uh, Jagan Mohan Reddy also might contest uh, or go to state assembly elections in 2023. That way, you know, like KCR uh, was free to contest in 2024, he can even go and campaign outside of the state. Same thing, Jagan Mohan Reddy may also be thinking. But my point is different. If the BJP really wants to, uh, you know, fast track its chances of becoming a significant party in these two states. Telangana has made some presence, but people say that it may not get more than 35 seats. That is not enough to form the ministry. However, if they can find somebody that mirrors Yogi in stature and karma, and then use that person as the chief ministerial candidate, then they will do extremely well in both Telangana and Andhra Pradesh, provided they say that if we come to power, we will be doing yogi's model of governance it's high time the educated south the more uh, liberal south understood that there is something called as the law and that the criminal law is universal or it's uniform for everyone everybody comes under the same criminal law for far too long these people have been getting away with literally murder so let us wait and see how that plays out in fact i don't know if you saw this other news in Telangana, the Wakf board minister's son is one of the prime accused in the rape of an underage girl. And what is worse is everybody in that group, all the boys, they all are, you know, in uh, either, uh, you know, they're highly connected. Let me put it that way. And the whole incident happened to take place in a government car, a Tata Innova white color. So a lot of things are now beginning to reverse people the way these people do these things. And also, we should also remember that Telangana's home minister may want to take responsibility for what happened to the law and order and perhaps step down. Will that happen? Because I have one other grouse against what happened in, Tamil, uh, in Telangana. On Friday, somebody flew a flag in Mehboob Nagar, which is another district, uh, which is a district south of Hyderabad, uh, wherein they replaced the chakra with some lettering in uh, Arabic. I don't know what it is, but it is a defacing of the national emblem. And it is not United States, where in United States, you can even uh, stitch and, and wear a uh, under undershirt or underpants uh, using the US flag. Nobody minds, but that's not true in India. 
the, the flag is taken uh, treated with a lot of respect. So I have a plan. I don't know if the BJP guys are listening, but if you if you go and if you pitch the yogi model of government, you will see stunning success, in my opinion, in the southern states too. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel. And do not forget to click on the bell button for notifications. And if you like our content, please show your appreciation by clicking on the super thanks button. Namaskar.